now that the massive corporation ULA's new owner has been revealed, which is none other than Blue Origin, SpaceX's fiercest competitor. Why is ULA the best option for Blue Origin? Will SpaceX and Elon Musk, their competitors, try to buy ULA for themselves? Let's explore in today's episode of SpaceX Flight. But before we get in, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit the bell, so you don't miss another awesome episode. And with that, let's dive right in. In the 11 months since the company's initial announcement that it was for sale, potential buyers have become a hotly debated topic. As of now, there are three likely buyers. Of the three, Blue Origin was deemed the most likely due to its financial capabilities and the benefits ULA provides. There's also no doubt that Blue Origin won't let the other two potential buyers take ULA for themselves. This is made abundantly evident by the activities of Jeff Bezos, the Blue Origin founder and the person responsible for the recent $2.4 billion sale of Amazon stock who also revealed plans to perhaps sell an additional $9 billion worth of stock over the course of the upcoming year. He wouldn't act in such a manner without a significant purchase plan. Although the precise sale price of ULA is still unknown, industry speculation places it between $2 and $3 billion, a sum that Jeff Bezos is more than willing to pay. Additionally, this time frame aligns with a report indicating that ULA's current owners, Boeing and Lockheed Martin, are actively considering a sale, with talks possibly starting this month. With these interrelated factors, we can almost be certain that Blue Origin will be ULA's new owner with a probability of about 95%. Although ULA's market dominance has decreased thanks to SpaceX's more affordable rockets like the Falcon 9, the company has historically been successful mostly because of lucrative military launch contracts and significant yearly subsidies from the U.S. Department of Defense for maintaining a launch readiness for national security missions. So, what makes ULA attractive to Blue Origin, aside lucrative deals with the U.S. Department of Defense? Well, ULA employs a highly skilled workforce of around 2,000 which has had an impressive track record of success which is necessary for Blue Origin's up-and-coming new Glenn launch later this year. And ULA is already very integrated into Blue Origin's products, like for example, their BE-4 engines which are used on the Vulcan rocket, and launch contracts on both Atlas V and Vulcan rockets with Amazon's Project Kuiper Satellite Internet Constellation program, and also have many facilities across the country, from launch pads at Cape Canaveral and at Vandenberg in California, to operational and maintenance centers. ULA, along with a skilled workforce, expertises in various fields such as storage of cryogenic fuels in space, allowing Blue Origin to expand its operations and footprint, potentially catching up to SpaceX. However, there may be some problems associated with this acquisition, such as integrating ULA employees with Blue Origin products may be difficult, and may involve a company restructuring, which may see some employees laid off, and also Blue Origin may have to choose between prioritizing development of their up-and-coming new Glenn rocket or transferring skills and technical knowledge of the Vulcan and Atlas V rockets to new Glenn, either way could add extra delays to the already slow progress of the new Glenn rocket, and potentially neglecting ULA's workforce who can't transition over. However, shareholders will no doubt see this as a positive refresh of their strategy. So, why doesn't SpaceX purchase ULA? If SpaceX wants to purchase ULA, it could be a wise decision to think about. Just think of the tremendous possibilities that would arise from fusing cutting-edge current concepts with the pinnacle of historical engineering achievement. But SpaceX isn't going down this path because they firmly believe in their own functional methods, and money is not a problem for SpaceX as they have generated large income streams flowing from rocket launches, generating $9 billion in 2023 up from $2 billion in 2018 per CNBC, far exceeding ULA's profits, which stand at around $1 billion and have remained steady, not to mention SpaceX's satellite internet constellation, Starlink projected to provide revenues in excess of $20 billion when up to speed and finally, Starship, which will drive launch costs down undercutting every other rocket and generate tons of money for SpaceX in the future. And that's all for today's episode, please share your thoughts in the comments as it helps us create better videos, also, 
Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell, so you don't miss another awesome episode, and with that, we'll see you again next time.